How is it going, everyone? Arctic Knight here, and we're back with another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. The last episode, we were in the restricted section with S Sebastian. And now we're going to go and just chat with Professor Fink and see uh You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah... Fig, you have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Yeah, you don't want to know Fair what enough. I had to do. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still... I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Yeah, of course. Well, yeah, well, what will you tell them? What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Of course. Do we have a spell for this? No? It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed wands. Also, the training dummy is still available. Thank you, Lucan. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield. As soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. The world map most of the maps covered by fog. Yep, okay. And with the small communities throughout the world. Unveiling new opportunities like hamlets, dungeons, banding camps, and for many other locations. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Any other letters, or are we good? Okay. 
Okay, so new assignments. Let's go to our herbology. Now I've already seen the uh, Professor Garlic. Well, is she growing pungent onion again? morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. <laughs> How Plant thrilling puns. it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the belting bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Do it. I don't want to. I don't want to wait. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Man, put me all fast through that easy. Now task will be planting oh, dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need... Hmm, I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. No, well, thank Plant you. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. I haven't done anything with potions, though. Hey, ready in 10 minutes, you can have fertilizer for the plant to increase its yield. You can create fertilizer by conjuring a dung composter. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what 
say we branch out, introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. That doesn't sound we nice. Find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Well, if they didn't bite, I'd be more concerned. Especially, actually, I, I wouldn't be more concerned. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaw. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. So, I'm familiar with the same attack by enemies. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Now do I just Vicious leave it little on the bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. I agree. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. I want to put the rest of these. Is there any more? No? Alright, that's fair. Revelio. So those are my mounts. Let's see. Mandrake, invisibility potion, thunderbrew, focus, maxim. I think I made a wrong turn somewhere. But that's fine. as well collect everything that we can. You never know what we will need for potions. Was that helpful reminder as to why the best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Yeah, can I get more cabbages, <gasps> well, please? Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students.
Alright, what do we still have? Let's go do this. I guess we're pretty close to the exit. We'll, we'll go and see what, uh... Only cost me my damned hearing. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the green. Incendio. Really? All right. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, very idea. See, I don't know how you'd be using in combat. Like, you're, you're, you should cover your own ears as well, correct? So in combat, you're just like, hold on, guys, let me plug my ears. Revelio. Incendio! Why are you looking at my chin like that? Revelio. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Lumos. I don't think any of the spells we currently have will be good for that. Incendio. My entire family's been taught against it. Makes sense. Not one for hard work, if I'm honest. Hogwarts has taught me and my siblings close together. I would have loved to have had Quidditch. Oh, well, we're heading the wrong way. I guess we should follow the path. Did we ever learn? No, we didn't. Ooh, beast classroom. Well, I guess that'll be handy for when we have to uh, travel out here for that class. I would love a wizarding game where you're probably maybe just an adult, like just make it like GTA, you know, a nice big open world. Maybe depending on where they want to put you, probably you know in England or something for Hogwarts. You're just maybe you're a fresh graduate and you're trying to depending on what job you pick. I don't know. I mean, I think it'd be pretty cool just to go through the hog, all of Hogwarts all seven years. And then depending on how good you do in your classes, like actual grading, 
depends on what type of job you can get. So if you become like, I don't know, a beast master, you can travel around and you go and tame all different types of beasts. You breed them and stuff. But also, if you just want to go cause some mischief, you can become a dark wizard. And then like the on how in GTA they have the five star rating, just like that, and they send auras after you. I'll tell you either defeat them all or you get captured. And then you send to Azkaban, where in which case you have to figure out how to break out of there, I guess. Wow, look at that sight. It's pretty foggy. What's this up ahead? Rebellion. Just going through someone's house, you know, just taking things out of theirs. That's fine, right? Hello there, sheep. Can't kill the sheep. I should investigate. We'll save the investigation for another time. to see you my friend yes it is good to see you hello too. natty how are you i hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to hogsmeade i am well but i have been worried about you my friend with ranrock and rookwood and harlow after you i'm all right at the moment we did not speak about it at the time but i am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you they want something that professor fig and i found at gringotts when were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I yes. think so. I I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. That's fine. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Well, she Thank you, Nancy. With you. Be on your guard. Beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Ooh, 
Okay, she just... Okay, so there's a side quest here. There's... Quite a bit to do. But we're gonna call this episode here. I know it was a pretty short one. Not much excitement going on, but... Thank you all, and I'll see all of you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day.